Hey everybody, it's Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is dividing by 10. So don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So what strategies can we use to divide by 10? So here's a problem here. There are 50 students going on a field trip to Alcatraz Island. Uh, the students are separated into groups of 10 students each. How many groups are there? Alcatraz Island is, a, is an island outside of the San Francisco Bay, and back in... Uh, um, uh, several years ago it used to be a prison for uh, high criminals right there and so they have field trips now they, they let students go out and it's pretty neat I've been out there a couple of times it's really fascinating anyway so uh, what do we need to find okay so the question is right here how many groups are there so we need to find out how many groups of 10 that are going out there and then underline the numbers that we're going to use well we'll use that 50 and the 10 right there so we'll underline those okay so one way we can do this is to use repeated subtraction. So repeated subtraction, we'll just start with 50 and then we'll subtract 10 to count for the 10 students and we'll keep subtracting 10 until we reach 0. Then we count the number of times that we subtract a 10. So here's the first one. We subtract 10 the first time. So 50 minus 10 is 40. So we subtract it at one time. So we'll pick up with the 40 and then do 40 minus 10 is 30. So now we subtracted 10 two times and then we'll do 30 30 minus 10 is 20 okay so that's three times we just got to get to zero so 20 minus 10 is 10 is four times and finally 10 minus 10 is five times now we got to zero so uh, we subtracted 10 five times so that means 50 divided by 10 is 5 and so there will be five groups of 10 students okay easy enough now another way we can do is uh, uh, use a number line. So we can start at 50, way over here at 50, and we can jump back by tens. So we can count back by tens uh, and keep counting back by tens until we get to zero. Okay, and then we uh, count the number of times that we jumped backwards by tens to get to zero. So there's one time right there, and I'm going to just keep jumping by tens. There's two times, three times, four times and finally five times and that's going to get us to zero right there okay so we jumped back five times right there so fifty divided by ten is five okay so how is counting on a number line uh... to divide by ten different from counting on a number line to multiply by ten well when we just uh... divided by ten you guys um, fifty divided by ten we jumped uh... by tens to the left so we went uh... by ten by ten by ten by ten uh, or we subtracted 10 all the time. So here, 50 divided by 10 was, was that many times, 5 times. So when we multiply, so it's asking what's the difference when we multiply. When we multiply 5 times 10, we jump by 10s to the right. So here's 1 jump of 10, 2 jumps of 10, 3 jumps of 10, 4, 5 jumps of 10. So 5 times 10 equals 50. So when we uh, multiplied 5 times 10, we went by 10s to the right. Uh, or adding tens, and so uh, 10 times 5 was 50, okay? So here's another way, you guys. We can use a multiplication table so to divide 50 divided by 10. So uh, since uh, division is the opposite of multiplication, we can use this multiplication table to find the quotient of 50 divided by 10. So think of a related multiplication fact that has these two numbers right here. So this is saying what number times 10 equals 50. Now in, the ne uh, in a couple lessons from now, we're going to use the letter N. N is just an unknown number. So in uh, higher math, like in algebra, we'll use letters like X or Y or just other letters in there. They're just unknown variables, we call them. So what number times 10 equals 50? So how we can uh, use this multiplication chart is, is find the, uh, the factor 10, this factor 10, in the top row. So I've highlighted it right there. Okay, and then and then step two is scroll down and look for the product of 50. So here's the product 50 right here. So here's 10. Scroll down and find the product 50. And then we go over to the left. Look over to the left to find the unknown factor. Okay, so 5 times 10 equals 50 right there. Okay, so I uh, just moved that up right there. So since uh, 5 times 10 equals 50, uh, then 50 divided by 10 equals 5, okay? So that's just a related multiplication fact. All right, so here's this problem over here that we just did. And step one, which is right here, uh, is the divisor or the dividend of the given factor 
in uh, in the re is the divisor or the dividend the given factor in the related multiplication problem? Okay, so here's the given factor in the multi uh, related multiplication problem. Sorry, tongue twister. So it was this 10. So this 10 right here, is that called the divisor or the dividend? Well, recall, you guys, if we had this uh, division problem, this is the dividend. So 50 is the dividend. 10 is the divisor right there, okay? So 10 is the divisor. All right, in step two, is, uh, is it the divisor or the dividend that this, that's the product in the related multiplication fact? Okay, so the product is this 50 right here, this 50 right here. So what's this 50? Is it the, the divisor or the dividend? Well, the 50 is the dividend right there, okay? All right, so uh, the quotient is the unknown factor or the 5. So this is the quotient right here. Okay, easy enough. All right. So let's re recap the ways that we just did on um, 50 divided by 10. In the next few lessons, we'll do a couple more uh, uh, strategies also. So we used re repeated subtraction until we got to 0, and it, we got there 5 times, so 50 divided by 10 equals 5. Uh, and then we used a number line, and then we went back uh, by jumps of 10, so time by 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. It took us five times to get to zero, okay? Then we used uh, the multiplication table, and we found out uh, 10 times uh, what number gave us this 50. So we scrolled over, and it gave us 5, so 5 times 10 equals 50. All right, you guys, have a good day.